when having to cross knots in caves, the two most common scenarios are when two ropes are tied together or there's a bad spot in the rope that's been isolated. If you're the one tying the knot, it's best to include a loop to have a safety for clipping in with a cow's tail. One of the most common types of knots for connecting two ropes together is the double fisherman's. This can be used with uh, ropes that are of slightly different diameters. With the double fisherman's, if you start by tying a figure eight on a bite into the upper rope and then tie the double fisherman's, you'll have a loop that you can clip into. Another common knot for connecting two ropes together is the Flemish bend. It's basically a form of a figure eight follow through. A limitation of the Flemish bend is that it should only be used with ropes of similar diameter. A loop can be added to the Flemish bend by starting with a figure eight on a bite and then following that back through. Another commonly encountered knot is the alpine butterfly. It's frequently used where there's a bad spot in the rope as represented by this orange flagging. Although the alpine butterfly generates a loop, if there's a bad spot in the rope, you don't want to clip into this. So tying a second alpine butterfly will create a safe spot to clip into in between the two knots.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the like button. Subscribe if you aren't already, so you can learn about other videos on the subject of caving. And comment below to let me know how I'm doing or to suggest other caving related topics.